Hey guys, so today we're making some seafood cornbread dressing. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I'm gonna start by making the cornbread for the dressing. And so I have some lard here and I'm using about two or three tablespoons. You do not have to use lard, you can use shortening. Um, and so I am just following the directions on the back of my um, corn flour not corn flour, corn meal. And so it called for two cups of the cornmeal mix and this is self-rising. So you do not need to add in the salt or the, the baking powder or anything like that. It, it's already in there. And so what's really nice about this particular uh, brand is they include not only the recipe for the cornbread, but it also includes a recipe for dressing if you wanted to try the one that's on there. And so next I'm adding in some milk. You do not need to use carnation milk. You can use whatever milk you have in your refrigerator. And then I'm going to add in one egg and I'm gonna mix this together. And so that lard that I put in that uh, baking dish, I put it in the oven for about three minutes just to let it melt. And so I'm gonna take that hot lard or shortening and you're gonna pour it into your cornbread batter and then you're gonna mix that up and pour it back into your baking dish. Now be careful because you know you might forget that that baking dish is hot because it's been in the oven. So it is hot, be sure you use a towel or mitten or whatever you have. And so I'm just gonna put the uh, mix in there and then I'm gonna bake the cornbread in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna chop up my vegetables. So I am chopping up two onions, um, a red bell pepper, and then about maybe four stalks of celery. And so I cut up a lot more than what this particular recipe calls for. And I did that because I'm making half of it. Um, I'm gonna make a pan of seafood dressing and then I'm gonna make a pan of just plain dressing. And so I cut up way more vegetables than this particular recipe needs um, because I'm using it for something else. And so um, for this recipe, you can use two two stalks of celery, one onion, and then half of that red bell pepper. And I typically don't put bell peppers in my dressing, but since it's a seafood dressing, I thought I would use the Holy Trinity. And so we don't wanna put our vegetables in raw. Um, so I am melting one stick of unsalted butter, and then I'm just gonna saute all of these vegetables until they are nice and tender. Um, because again, you do not want to chew on any crunchy vegetables in your dressing. That's just not what we do over here, okay? And I will be sure to list the ingredients in the description box below because that might have been a little bit confusing. <laughs> and so next, I am just going to season up some shrimp. And so I use some Old Bay, some black pepper. And I'm going to keep that pretty simple. Um, and I'm going to saute maybe about five shrimp because I want to uh, save those for garnish at the end. So I'm not gonna saute all of the shrimp, I'm just gonna saute about five of them. And so I put some butter into my skillet and then I am just going to cook these shrimp and then I'm gonna leave the other ones to the side uncooked because that's gonna go inside of the actual dressing. And now I do wish I had put a little more shrimp in there, but that's okay. It, it balanced out because I'm gonna add in some crab to our seafood dressing, okay? And so after your shrimp for garnish is cooked, if you choose to do that, um, just put it to the side. And so for this cornbread, again, I, I'm using, I'm doing too much right here. So I'm using half of this pan of cornbread for our seafood dressing. And I'm just gonna crumble it up with my hand. And then I'm also gonna use one package of stovetop seasoning or stovetop uh, breading, okay? And so you don't have to do that. You could have just used the whole pan of homemade dressing if you wanted to, but I do like to use the stovetop because it has a lot of great seasonings in there, okay? But again, you can just use the whole pan of homemade cornbread if you choose to do that. And so I am going to pour in my vegetables and I did let the vegetables cool down before I added it to this mixture. And so I'm just mixing that together. And then I am gonna use a half of a can of cream of celery and then a half of a can of cream of chicken. And so some of y'all might not put this in your dressing. 
do it to your taste but i find that this adds a nice amount of flavor to your dressing and it also helps to keep it moist you don't want it to be like soggy but it does add some moisture to the dressing because after all this is just bread y'all and so i am adding in some um chicken broth if you have seafood broth you can and so my plan was to make some seafood stock out of the shrimp shells but i ain't had time for all that <laughs> but if your store has like some seafood stock or something like that on the shelf you can use that but i just opted for some low sodium uh chicken broth because a lot of the ingredients in the dressing it does have salt in it like the stuff the, the stove top mix um the old bay seasoning that I'm going to use and then like the cream of celery and cream of chicken that all has salt in it. So you want to be careful about how much salt you actually put into this dish. And so I think using the low sodium chicken broth does help you to be able to control the, the salt level. And so I'm just adding in my seasoning. So I use some old bay, some black pepper, a little bit of Himalayan uh salt some poultry seasoning and then some sage and you want to do this to your taste you're going to taste this throughout the process because i mean how else are you supposed to know if your, your dressing tastes good to you you have to taste it guys and so i'm just adding in the chicken broth i ended up using about four cups of chicken broth you're not going to add it all in at one time because you, you kind of have to use your own judgment you don't want it to be soggy but you also don't want your dressing to be dry because you are going to put this in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour and so i'm just adjusting the seasonings accordingly and then i mean you're just going to keep doing that you're going to keep stirring and adding liquid and seasoning until it tastes good to you and so one thing that i do want to point out is my cornbread that i made sat out on my counter for about two days and so this is not something that i baked the same day and then mixed it all together you do want your cornbread to be a little old and a little stale <laughs> or if you just in the bind just in the very least make sure that your cornbread is cooled off and you can cook it a little bit longer so that it won't be as um like super soft but anyway so i am using canned crab for this recipe and i do <laughs> wish i had used like fresh crab that i you know cracked out of the shell myself um mainly because the canned crab has a lot of those small shells inside and so i tried my best to pick through it to you know feel for some of the shells that might have been left behind but in the end you know you, i wasn't able to get all of it so that kind of bothered me a little bit so i wish i had used some lump crab or like just deshelled my own crab and so if i do make this again next time i'll do that instead of using the canned crab but y'all don't come for me in the comments okay and so i did use that whole can and kind of went through it and i added it to my dressing the crab is fully cooked and so i made sure that i still tasted my dressing for seasoning um before i added the shrimp because i'm going to add the shrimp in there raw and then i wanted to taste it before i added the shrimp and my egg and so once your seasonings are on point, you're going to add in your shrimp and your egg. I only used one egg for this recipe. Um, and I've never made seafood dressing before, y'all. So this is new to me. If you have better suggestions on what I could have done differently, leave me a comment below. I'm open to suggestions. And so I did add my shrimp, my egg, and then I'm just going to mix all of this together and then... I'm gonna spray my baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray and I'm gonna put this bad baby in the oven on 375 and I cooked it for about maybe 50 minutes it really just depends on what kind of pan you use and so typically I don't use the glass casserole dish but I didn't have anything else at the moment I like to use the metal pans the metal nonstick pans I think those cook better um, but nonetheless, you're going to use a, a, an oven safe dish and put your dressing in the oven on 375. Um, I think it's 375. I'll put it in the description box below. But you're going to cook it for about 45 minutes to an hour on, or until it's nice and firm. And so this is the finished product. And I did put my, my shrimp that I sauteed, I put those on as garnish. And then I have my cranberry sauce and I made a little bit of gravy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. This is something different that you can put on the table for your holiday meal. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.